super early so it's only 7 30 now i'm going to do my morning pages i'm going to get some work done it's been a weird week and um, vincent has been working with me which has been absolutely amazing but also like i don't feel like i can get like, my regular stuff done so i'm taking this morning to get some stuff done then i have therapy and then i'm going home to do more work and to see how we're, we're going so he's taken the week off which has just been so lovely to actually spend the time with him and tomorrow we're taking the day off and we are going to Wicklow tomorrow we're going to Avondale I hope hopefully I haven't booked it yet but hopefully we'll be able to go and it is um, the top of the trees so it's like a, a tree walk it looks really beautiful Brannock will love it because he will be able to walk it's recommended for A plus but he is he'll be well laid for it uh, and then this weekend we're not really doing much but then I'm going to bring you along Monday and Tuesday um, I'm getting some beauty treatments done I'm getting a new type of facial done getting my brows done I'm getting my hair done uh, in preparation I'm actually going back to London in two weeks I'm going to a conference I've been invited to a conference in London in two weeks which is amazing I'm really excited about it uh, it's the Be Creators Health and Wellness Summit which is exactly where I sit in the blogger sphere. So it used to be the blogger sphere, um, that used to be the name of the organization who's running it, but they changed it to be creators now. So I'm gonna put my camera away because I'm getting so many looks for people uh, because it is seven o'clock in the morning and everybody's going to work and I'm just sitting here vlogging myself like some kind of weirdo. So yeah, also really like my makeup today. I'm very pink at the moment, pink nails, pink lips, pink eyes, um, but all black outfit because you know, balance anyway right oh yeah i just wanted to have this like really quick um chat with you about balance actually i've just recorded a reel for this but i'm sitting at the cafe nero now and i know that they have really delicious vegan croissants but i also know that i'm probably gonna have something when i'm out in avondale tomorrow and maybe we might stop off in the happy pair or something like that because it's halfway and i don't need to have a vegan croissant this morning i would, wouldn't mind it but i don't need to have it so that's a bit balance for me is choosing and parenting myself and going okay no today i'm not gonna have it tomorrow i might and that's something that i did in uh, weight loss is i kind of really parented myself and had a chat with myself and was like do i need this and if i really wanted it i might have it i might have half of it count the calories allotted into my calories and now in maintenance i'm just kind of say the same thing like do i really want this do i need this and if i really want it and i need it no i don't ever need a croissant then i will have it and if not then i won't and that's kind of what's like kept me going through maintenance so it's really having that chat with yourself and becoming your own best friend and becoming a parenting yourself basically so yeah uh right i can put it in camera away now because it's probably not It's amazing, isn't it, the fact that you need to do to get a tenner out in cash. Like, I have to pay my therapist in cash, and it's a nightmare trying to get a tenner. <laughs> but I managed to get it. I, mean, I, uh, I was trying to get, a, like, I had to go in and get a couple of things in boots, and in uh, boots and duns. I need a bread for the house and things like that. But trying to get a tenner is ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't get a tenner anyway because you can't get Revolut cash back. So anyway, the place looks so cute. Right, off to get my mind massaged and uh, chat to you in a bit. I am home now. Uh, it, there was a delay on the train, so. It ended up being a bit of a nightmare. It took over an hour to get home for a 20 minute trip, but I did arrive home to a box from ASOS that I ordered, so I thought I would try it on for you. I don't even know if you can see this on me, but this is on in the sale, and I think the reason that it was in the sale, if we can have a bit of brightness, was because it is super, super short, but yeah, basically it is this. Let me see if this one you can see better. Able to see a bit better. Yeah, 
um, but also the boobage area. I'm wearing um, like a lace bralette, so it's hard to see, but the boobage area is, yeah, it's enough for me. Beautiful. Okay, this is stunning. I've had my eye on this for so long. It's kind of like this purpley lilac gray. Sorry, the light is so bad, you can't really see it. Um, and obviously I still have my bralette on underneath, but this is so nice. This would be perfect coming into the autumn, spring time. Uh, it's too warm to wear it now, but no, this is absolutely, like it fits like a dream. Okay, that's a definite keep. And then this literally could not be more perfect. But it is a checkerboard mini satin skirt with black checkerboard. And I love it so much. It needs a good steam, but it is perfect. Love, okay, two out of three ain't bad. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, I didn't get to vlog much yesterday after I left you. We're currently watching Rapunzel at the same time. Yeah. This morning we are having a family day. We're going to Avondale um, to be on the trees and we're going to go have some lunch, probably in the happy pair as per usual. And that's pretty much it. Just a chilled, long kind of weekend for us. We're excited to have it. So yeah, how to bring you with us. take a detour and we've come to Dundrum to have dinner. I actually we went to like shop play first and now we're having dinner. But we're in um Wagon Mama and I'm so impressed with how many vegan dishes there are. Did you see this? Oh, baby. Sweet potato with aubergine caramelized onion and stuff. Everything looks I can't believe how much vegan stuff there is. Ribs. There is a mixed mushroom bao, which I think I'm gonna have. And then, uh, this is like my fate, where is it? The carb and the bruzu. This is my favorite one, but I think I might try the spicy vegetable short rib ramen. Everything looks so nice. 26. Oh, that's this one. I love the way they have pictures. They have a yasai aubergine salad, which actually sounds delicious. Thank you. Makeup is halfway off my face. Hi everyone, uh, we are home now. It's still Friday evening, it's about quarter to nine and I am going to wrap up today. I'm actually remembering to wrap up today. About dinner, uh, I would say for me, the, and Vincent actually, the spicy vegan um, rib ramen was not to my taste. The actual ramen noodles were lovely, the ramen broth was nice, it was a bit spicy for Vincent. I didn't really care for the ribs, um, the vegan ribs. I much prefer their Cara Borzu ramen that would be the one I would stick to in the future they do lean on the spicy side and as somebody who enjoys a lot of spice that like just bear that in mind the Tokyo fry things they were nice they were basically just really thin sweet potatoes that have been deep fried really crispy it was kind of almost like a sweet potato hash brown but even finer with sriracha vegan mayo and some chili on it and a little bit of aubergine kind of caramelized onion thing which was nice but there wasn't that much of it so basically it was a sweet potato hash brown with a uh, sweet potato hash brown with vegan mayo sriracha and fresh chilies and a little bit of like caramelized onion jam kind of and then the star of the show absolute star of the show was the mixed mushroom vegan buns they were unbelievable. They were pricey. They were eight something for two buns, which means you got a bun each. And I gave a bit to Branagh. Uh, 
like they were delicious though they were like i would go just for those and like maybe the borzu ramen again that would be more kind of my thing um i got some yakisoba some tofu yakisoba for Branok. it wasn't really to his taste he does like noodles so he might just eat the noodles tomorrow but i think there was a lot of stimulation going on with he had chopsticks and things like that so it didn't really work but anyway, I'm not vlogging this weekend because this weekend I'm actually filming a what I eat in a weekend as part of my balance and my kind of reset routine for maintenance. So this is really in a cut. It's very similar to what I would have eaten for weight loss. So I'm filming that this weekend. So I'm going to link that up here because that'll already be up by the time you're watching this. And I'll be back with you on Monday because I'm going to take you along to get my brows done with Claudia. I have not had my brows done in forever. So I haven't brows done with Claudia and then I'm also going to have an Obagi facial, which I'm excited about in therapy. Um, that is going to help with decongesting my face because I have a lot of, like, just a lot of things in here that need to get out. So we're going to do that. So I will see you. Morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. I am on my way into town. I'm on my way into the train and then going into town this morning. I am going to do some work from town for a couple of hours and then I am getting my brows done. Hence the reason I have no makeup on today, which is actually quite nice. <laughs> I actually really like having a fresh face of makeup. It will look like I've been punched in the face later on, but that's, you know, say la vie. Uh, and then I also am getting an Obagi facial done today, which sounds nice, but I think it's actually quite unpleasant. So it's got a lot of extractions and things like that. So I'll be makeup free today. So I thought I'd take you along with me show you how I get my brows done. I do get an awful lot of questions. I have filmed it before, but I thought I would film a little bit of it again and probably treat myself to a sprout for lunch if I have time. I have a bit of a tight turnaround. Uh, and then something else. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna come home and get some work done. I want to organize my office a bit more. I have cleared out some stuff and I have a couple of free shelves and I would like to get all of my shoes off the floor because it's kind of gone ridiculous. I actually have too many pairs of boots. I don't even know what I have anymore because I have so many and I'm not wearing all of them because I can't see them so I need to clear them out and yeah that's about it. So that's my plan for today. Wish me luck. God it's beautiful like the perfect weather this morning. I'm very casual today. Just got my jacket on, tank top, my favorite blue jeans that I got for a fiver in uh, pennies and I wore the wrong footwear. I actually was running out of the house to come to get the train and I meant to change my shoes and I forgot. So I'm in flip-flops, like slightly fancy flip-flops as opposed to being in uh, runners because I have a lot of walking to do today. I'm pretty impressed with myself that I didn't touch them though. Are you, you proud of me? There's so much work. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, it is a good thing. I'm 
down the top, it's just a teeny bit. Looks like it fries again. Yeah, I think if you didn't get lamination, you just wouldn't get yourself. Yeah. Brows have been done. They always look a little bit insane when we get them done. We went much fluffier and less perfect this time to see. So don't take this as the final product. We'll see tomorrow as the final product. Okay, gorgeous. This building is though. This is old school George and Dublin. Now I am going to go get myself some lunch because I am facial and I thought I'd just show you the before so we're working on getting rid of the decongesting this kind of thing this is real close up I have a lot of like whiteheads in here that are stuck under my skin so we're working on getting those my brows are absolutely insane I love ridiculous anyway some of these I also got myself an Iron Maiden t-shirt on the way for the gig now on Saturday so we did the barrier cream. So yeah, and now we're just gonna apply the peel uh, in the three layers. Three layers. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how far we're getting. Okay. Uh, so we will start with the ones. So you're gonna feel quite hot. Okay. And it's gonna be fat, like a pinchy, itchy. Okay. So it's first it's gonna develop and gonna be quite hot and then it's slowly gonna start to calm down so the basic thing with a peel we cleanse the skin mm -hmm. and then we use a prep solution to prepare the skin for the peel then we apply the barrier cream to protect your sensitive parts from the peel and then we're gonna apply the first layer of the peel which gonna give you the sensation of quite like a hot so it's gonna go quite hot maybe pinchy itchy and then okay. slowly gonna calm down and we will see your response on the skin and then we may be gonna go with the second okay. uh, layer of the peel. Okay. okay, is that okay with you? That's fine. Perfect. Sounds fun. So what we want, we just want to get it a little bit stronger. So does it just keep like digging into your skin, does it? Yeah, or? so okay. it just keeps working on your skin and then it self neutralizes. Okay. Yeah, so. I can feel it like it's, it feels like a bad sunburn. Yeah. For like, and tight. And tight, yeah. Yeah. So once we're gonna go on the second layer, you're probably gonna see like a little bit like a frosting. So you're gonna look like a little bit with a <laughs> nice, beautiful frost. Nice, like Elsa from Frozen or something. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and don't breathe this time. It's really like when you put it on and on your nostrils, it's like. Whew. What is it made of? It's a salicylic acid. Oh, is that okay? Base. Just like an so intense it's a, one. It's a tense one, so it's a barge peel. Okay. So it's a barge blue peel. So the main thing is a salicylic acid. Okay. Yeah, like it's not pleasant, but it's not the worst thing I've ever felt. If I would ask you from one to ten, what would you say you feel? Five, six. Okay. So we're just gonna wait until your skin fully calms down. Okay. okay. And will they come out like now, or will they come out like tomorrow? Because or? some things, because your skin might go after the peel, might go dry, okay. and it could start flaking. So okay. it's just it takes the time to push everything up. Gotcha. From the skin as well. Okay. So everything what is on the surface, it's probably gonna pop out okay. faster, and some things which is more deeper inside. Okay. So they just might come a little bit later. Up. Yeah, my skin doesn't look. I honestly thought my skin was gonna look so much worse, like red. Will it get red, more not red? This deal. Okay. So would you not normally do the three on everybody or? So it's like, if you would, like it depends. So we yeah. just did a three on the more congested part. Okay. But we want your skin to get, come to use of it as well, of okay. the pale as well. So we just want to see what's your response going to be. So we just did on the more congested parts, you know, the okay. third pass. It is 25 past five. I've been home for about two hours. I have, I think three hours actually. I've got so much work done. 
so much work done. It's actually been such a really great day. I was listening to a podcast, The Diary of a CEO. I listen to that, like most of the episodes that come out. Some of them aren't that interesting to me, but uh, I was talking, I was listening to one with Dr. Mindy Peltz, and she was talking about women in their period and in their cycle and how they, a suggestion of working and when they're most, what's the word? What's the word? Active. Oh my God, I can't think of the word. Mm. I can't believe I can't remember this. Productive. Fucking oh, hell. My God. Oh. But she was talking about productivity and when they are most productive and when they are least productive in their cycle and when they, she recommends times to take off and times to be more active and more, you know, gung ho. And she just, was suggesting that in her ideal world a work week would actually become a work month and women are more productive for 19 days of their cycle 20 days and then the seven days leading up to a bleed i think seven nine days i'll leave the link down below, are actually when we should be hibernating and relaxing and reducing our stress and reducing our cortisol because it can have effect on progesterone which is needed to keep estrogen in check and reduce and actually let the bleed happen, I think. Do not quote me. Uh, but I was just gonna check my Clue app, which I've used for years. I'm on day 16, so I'm in the middle of my most productive. So by day 17, it crashes. So there you go. Works out well. Right, food, child. Hello. It is dinner time. We are making a quick dinner that's pretty much all i could say in the pan i have some japanese tofu from typhoon i have some frozen green beans and one packet of ready made ready cooked rice with sunflower seeds and quinoa i think i'm also steaming some spinach and i have a big old thing of broccoli to steam as well and then that's all gonna get mixed together. And then in here, I have that usual uh, cucumber salad that I make that I'm kind of obsessed with at the moment. And that's going to be dinner. And I am starving because I have not eaten since that salad this afternoon. And I think I have a bounce ball in here, which I might eat. No, I don't have a bounce ball. That's very disappointing. I do have, if you have seen my last what I eat in a weekend, I shared my rhubarb recipe again, so I have that to eat. But, alas, I am. Ooh, hello, brightness. Um, yeah, I'm hungry now. Hungry and thirsty, actually. I need to drink some water. I'm gonna sit down and have dinner at the table and just enjoy some food. Oh, sorry, I did put one thing into the rice. Uh, this seaweed pesto from Ebb and Flow, which is a, actually a Body Slimmers um, recipe, uh, her company. I met her at the People's Park yesterday in Dunleary and I got it from her. I didn't, I was buying it before I knew she was a body slimmer. And uh, yeah, I was like, it's so nice to support a body. Uh, it's an Irish made product. It's delicious. It's like decent and it's vegan, which is just wonderful. It's pretty high in calories. Like you wouldn't use tons of it, but it's made of oil. So. But I just put about a tablespoon into the pan and I'm mixing it around with the rice and it's green beans and because the right the green beans are frozen they're releasing a lot of moisture so they're plumping back up the rice because we don't have a microwave because we don't got room in our house for a microwave there's the angelus why is the angelus playing in my house these are more questions mm. damn that's good I used to get a pesto, no, a pesto greens from Aldi, which is amazing. They're like in that bag, but they don't seem to do it anymore. I hate when they do that in like Aldi in the middle and you get used to something and you really like it and you go back to get more and it's gone. I'm just putting a tiny bit of soy sauce in as well. Just to mix up the flavors and then I'm gonna cover it in probably Chinese fried spice, nutritional yeast, garlic powder. You know the drill. You've been here a long time. You know how I roll. You know how we roll in this shire. Can you tell I'm hungry? 
I need to drink a lot of water. I'm gonna go do that there. Good morning everybody. Happy Tuesday. It is the day after I have my treatments done. My brows are looking a flaky, which is just such a horrible term. I'm having a cup of coffee. It's been an interesting morning around here. We had a 4 a.m. wake up for Brannock uh, with crying till about five and then Vincent just got him up. Uh, I was out for my walk very early because he woke me up. Uh, yeah, it's just it's one of those parenting mornings. So, uh, but he has just gone down for a nap now and it's just about half past eight, I think. 20 past eight. I'm leaving in the next 40 minutes to go uh, have my hair done. I have a couple of groceries to pick up as well, but get, mainly get my hair done. That's the main thing I need to do. Uh, well, not to need to do, that's what I'm going out for. And then I'll be home for the rest of the day. I did get a couple of packages that I wanted to open with you guys. And I have a couple of things, uh, hopefully something else will arrive today that I'll get to show you. But yeah, it's just been, it's been a morning. So I'm taking long to get my hair done. I am on coffee number two. It's probably gonna be a three caffeine kind of morning, but we shall see. I am in with um, Georgina now, and we are about to do a Olaplex treatment. Do my dye and do a cut, so it's gonna be a full transformation. So this is the before. First of all, it is Wednesday morning today. I meant to end the vlog yesterday. However, something happened yesterday afternoon, which I'm going to share with you a little bit in a few minutes, but I just wanted to kind of talk you through what I'm doing at the moment. I'm currently time blocking to manage uh, my time a little bit. Uh, I haven't made it perfectly, but it's now 9.12. I've given myself till 9.30 to tidy up my office in organising it. So what I've actually done is I I can't take all these shoes here. It's just it's just too messy. I'm I need things to be kind of put away. I also had loads of stuff up here. So what I'm doing now is I've cleared out my handbags up there. They're the end of my handbags. That's basically all I have. Here are all my handbags that I'm getting rid of. So these are all going to the charity shop. Uh, or to friends and things like that. Uh, these are ones I've had for a long time that I just don't need. This is a tiny arsehole who's annoying me. But I've also cleared out in here. So I've had one, two, two and a half squares that I've freed up. Smushy, would you get off my clothes? And I have some free space in here. So what I'm gonna do is take all of these shoes, organize them back in here, and any ones that I don't need are going to the charity shop because and we're not carrying around things we don't need in this house anymore. I'd like to, I really want to organize my boots, or not my boots, my belts as well. I need to put up new things up here so you can see I have like one left over, one hook, and it's really handy to keep the um, my, my belts on so you can actually see them as opposed to being stuck. I also have cleared off my rail and I want to maybe tonight take out some clothes for the summer that I can put onto this and that I can use. I'm gonna be filming a series as well on Instagram, which should be up by now, which is going to be about uh, dressing for loose skin. So I'll link that, oh no, it's gonna be on Instagram. So check out my Instagram if you want to see that. Uh, I might do a full video here on that as well if you want me to, let me know. Uh, so I'm gonna put some things for that up. I have to clear off the bed and I have to hang up some stuff, order some shelves, but I'm not gonna get all of that done now, but I'm just gonna try and get as much as I can done now in the next 15 minutes. This is done. I also have two full shelves here that are completely empty as well. I find shelves are kind of annoying, like they're not really that great for storage of things. They're just not, I would rather a drawer, to be perfectly honest with you. So I'll move this out of the way. And then tonight we have, oh, 
hello lovely humans let me hoist you up so you can actually see me um it is wednesday evening now it's nearly half five and i'm 23 minutes late to finish work but i just wanted to send to come on quickly as if she's ever come on quickly and have a chat with you about a few things so my intention was to finish up my video yet my vlog yesterday um after i where did i even go oh after i got my hair done yesterday how fabulous is it just i swear to god i just have the best beauty team at the moment i'm so in love with my beauty team uh yeah anyway so i finished up with that i went home i had lunch i was very hungry like really really hungry and i had something to eat and i was kind of in that like i need food stage because it was about half one and had a mini cupcake and that's literally all i ate and the sugar was like give me food and after i ate i crashed and i was like i'm gonna lie down and have a 20 minute nap a power nap i put on a meditation that i put on all the time and it wakes you up after the 20 minutes 25 minutes i think or something like that and that's normally like a good time for me that i don't feel ugh, afterwards and i woke up two and a half hours later and was like well i obviously needed that sleep that i needed that rest that was very important and we have to prioritize sleep where we can and Unfortunately, it meant that it ate into my working day and I was, you know, I realized I'm in a great privilege that I can do that, that I don't have a boss standing breathing over my neck. There are also drawbacks in that that will eat up into other time for me, family time, whatever it might be, weekends, etc. So I was lying in bed anyway, uh, just waking up, coming out of it. And for some reason, I checked an app that I don't regularly check and I was bombarded uh, with a troll. Uh, absolutely, completely bombarded. And prior to that, I had received two emails from two brands who were very excited to work with me and then withdrew their offer, which happens, these things happen, but it was like disappointment, disappointment, bombardment. Now, I'm telling you this not because I am wishing that people will tell me, oh, you know, like, don't mind what they're saying, you know, it's more about them than it is about me. I know that. I know that if somebody's coming at me with a lot of accusations about a lot of things, it's more about them than it is about me. I share some of my life on the internet. I don't share a lot of my life on the internet. And people may feel like they know me but they don't and even a lot of friends don't know every single aspect of me the person who probably knows me the best is vincent because he lives with me but you know like each of us you know if you're talking to your best friend your best friend probably doesn't know every single in and out detail of you but some people assume and they make assumptions and i am not listening to that person that is not the point in me sharing this with you. The point is that I became a whipping post for somebody else's unhappiness in their life yesterday. And it's not fair. It's not fair that I, somebody who tries to always do good in the world and tries to promote a place of positivity was the whipping post. And that's really the only way I could describe it for the unhappiness and probably some mental health issues and some other things and possibly loneliness and little desperation and many other things that I'm sure and I feel really compassionate towards that person but it's not okay it's not okay to come on the internet and take your shit out on somebody else and I just really want to point that out it is not okay to project your insecurities and your crap onto somebody else. You don't do it to somebody else's face. Don't do it on the internet. Just don't do it. It's not okay. So I just wanted to come on. I, I honestly got really upset yesterday because it was, I was not in a place, I was not ready to receive that kind of vitriol from somebody. It wasn't the words that they were saying, it was the constant bombardment of, and I had seen a few things from this person before that gave me red flags and I was like, I should, I should probably block that person. So I have learnt my lesson. I have learnt a lesson from this and that is I will, any kind of 
passive aggression, negativity, snarkiness, snide comments would be deleted um, immediately and that person would be blocked immediately. I do not have the space in my life to deal with other people's shit and I shouldn't have to deal with it. Um, generally, I am very, very lucky that I am not trolled. I am incredibly, incredibly lucky that I have very few negative comments. There are some passive aggressive things, there are some things, and most I can handle. Most I'm like, oh, would you ever? You know, and it's just like, it's an eye roll. But they're called, those kind of things are called microaggressions. They're microaggressions against somebody. And when you are, you know, like if I receive microaggressions from 10 people a day, it adds up to a pretty big aggression. And when you're trying to do good in the world, you know, just trying to be a decent human being and you get bombarded with somebody else's shit, it's just not fair. So I just wanted to come on and just a reminder to everybody. And I know that everybody who here who is watching or 99.9% .9 of you are the most amazing, supportive, wonderful people. And I love you all so dearly. I genuinely do. You're amazing people. And then there are some people who unfortunately ruin it for people. And if I reacted yesterday the way I was going to, so I was just gonna quit. I just want, I was like, you know what, what's the point in doing this? What is the point in doing this? And then I remembered that last Thursday I was out and I met a lady called Barbara in person and she thanked me for what I do and it was really touching. And there's one woman and I don't know if you watch me on YouTube or Instagram or where you find me, but if you are the lady who came up to me in nut butter one day when I was having lunch with Vincent and Bramock, and you came up and you just said thank you, and the way you said it has sat with me, and I hold that feeling because I know that thank you. I know that feeling. I know that that makes it when i feel when i get attacked from other people i literally go back to that thank you and it was two words that had more weight than anything i've received maybe before but it is one of the highest it was one of the moments that went oh my gosh because sometimes I'm just talking to a camera and I forget that there's other people there. You know, it's just this little box and I see myself in the top screen. But the way that lady said thank you, it, it brought me to that higher power within me and I hold on to that, that and I won't give up. I will, you know, as far as I have no plans to give up, I have no, desire to give up uh, but I won't be a whipping post for somebody's sadness their desperation and I wish only kindness towards that person or anybody who sends you know tells me what I should and shouldn't do I'm just not interested so from here on in I'm just blocking I'm not going to engage I'm just blocking I'm just blocking people I'm just if I don't like it I'm just done I don't have to deal with it. You know, I see when I go into boots, or if I call my doctor surgery actually as well, uh, there's a voice message to say that the staff, the reception staff have been, you know, mistreated and they have, you know, the people have been taking out their anger on them uh, during COVID and that they've been abused and that they will not stand for it and that anybody who does that will no longer be a client or a patient of that surgery and I think that's exactly the way it should be but there isn't anybody I can't there isn't anybody I can call I can't call Mark Zuckerberg and say can you you know remove this person can you remove the guy who is selling Ozempic using my image nobody will and it's, it's a very lonely situation sometimes, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a, it can be really freaking lonely. But there are people who make it, and the majority of you who comment 
like the Lindas, the Bevs, the um, Trinas, the Tonys, the Tories. I see you guys, the Cathy's. I see you, I feel you, and thank you so much for your continued support and your continued love, and Gabrielle. Like, and there are just so many of you, Erica. There's so many of you who I like, thank you because you make you outweigh that negative that comes with doing this as a job and i shouldn't have to deal with it and i'm not going to deal with it anymore um there is a possibility i will be employing somebody uh, very shortly who will be um fielding comments for me um because i just don't need that negativity i like to be from a higher plane and try and keep in a higher vibration and I don't need my vibration knocked off by somebody else's stuff and I shouldn't have to deal with it and neither should the staff in Boots or the staff in my uh, doctor surgery nor should any of us have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day job. This job is amazing, it comes with many privileges but it also comes with some really hard, hard things and I get an awful lot of beautiful outpourings of, you know, people's issues and they are people I'm willing to speak to, but I'm not willing to speak to or engage with people who are resentful towards me. If you don't like me, if I make you feel bad about yourself, please unfollow me, unsubscribe, don't engage, don't watch, because it's not healthy for you. I don't want you to, I don't care if my numbers drop by, you know, 50%. It doesn't matter to me. I don't want me to be the source of pain for anybody else. So if I cause you pain, please don't follow me. Unsubscribe, unfollow, don't keep checking in. And I know that there are those trolling sites that exist and I'm on them now and that's how you know you've made it because you're on the threads and it's like, God, the amount of energy, put that energy into yourself and into love and stop putting it out into such negative places. Guys, this is the end of the vlog. And the thing that I want to say that I'm grateful for is to you guys, to you who support me, the people who comment, who like, who share, who don't do any of those things, but watch every single video, who, you know, take notes, who, you know, give me nice positive feedback or send me a DM or just send me a bit of love through the airways. I appreciate you, I love you, um, and thank you so much, thank you all. I'm gonna go make some dinner for my little man, and I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow. Please leave me three hearts down in the description, or in the comments, and any, any anything you're grateful for, um, anything. It doesn't have to be three things, one thing, anything that you're grateful for. I love you and leave you guys and please don't forget to show up for yourself. Oh, on a second note, after I saw that, I said the way I showed up for myself last night was I turned off all social media and I was done and I just spent time with my family and my son. That's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So, I love you all. Don't forget to show up for yourself because you're worth it. Thank you.